What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Alpha Central. Let's get straight into it. I'll give you a seven. Get the f out of here. You're fing wrong. Emotional <laughs> damage. If you were to look at me and rate me on a scale of one to ten, what would you rate me? I like a six. What are these men? They are <laughs> savages. They must have been from the ice age. What would you rate me? Scale of one to ten. Is this for YouTube? Uh, what up, YouTube? I'll give you a solid six. She's a runner. She's a track She really song. thought she was a 10. Well, <laughs> she really thinks she had 10 walking around these streets. Honey, you're mid at best. Average American male has two to three times a week. On the other hand, the average Japanese male has two to three times a year, which is quite alarming considering I had no idea I was Japanese. <laughs> this guy is a true sap. <laughs> He's like, I had no idea I was Japanese. Get your foot off. What are you doing with that? Best friends or dating? No, we're just best friends. Best friends? Okay, bet. I give you $10,000 cash right now on the spot if you guys kiss. Huh? We're just best friends. Uh. No. No? Why not? This guy's so unattractive. No one would ever date him. Damn, it's <laughs> like that? Bro, what are you going to say about that? You know what? When you take your makeup off, you look like a dude. <laughs> this is a perfect <laughs> example of if you... <laughs> He's so unattractive. She, she's not even that good looking either. This is crazy work. Used to hear it, but check it out. Tell me if I'm lying. It's nothing more than a woman touching her lips together and shutting. I'm going. <laughs> hey, at least I see what you did there. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. That's good. In front of their girlfriends. For the next clip, she ends up trying to catch her boyfriend cheating with an AI voice. What? This is actually pretty genius, and let's just say, she ends up calling to his best friend to see if it's true or not. I'm going to AI clone my boyfriend's voice, call his best friend, and figure out if he lied to me about what he was doing last night. My boyfriend's been acting very weird. I opened up a voice cloning software and imported voicemails that my boyfriend has left. I typed in a script of what I want my boyfriend to tell his friend. There's the final product. Hey, ladies, you need to, you ladies need to be detectives. Man, what's up? I don't know. Are you alone? That sounds exactly like him. I'm going to use his iPad to FaceTime audio call his friend and see if his friend confirms what they were doing last night. Oh. Hey man, what's up? Not much man, just chilling. How are you feeling? Everything is fine. Kind of, I don't know. Are you alone? Yeah man, just, you know, chilling at the house. I don't remember much from last night. I don't know why I feel weird. What did I do? Dude, you got a face at McDenton's last night, and you picked up some random sorority girl from UT and made out with her in front of everyone. I said we stayed at your place. Bro, why'd you have to bring me into this? What is the worst thing an ex has done to you? Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing, honestly. My ex has actually been really good to me. What's the worst thing you did to an ex? I cheated. Sensational. Because she's a runner, she's a track star. He accused me of cheating, so I decided I was actually gonna go do it. Wow. Who did you cheat with? His A best lot friend. of people. How many people? Oh. Maybe four or five. Jesus Christ. He never found out. He I was, I was slick out. with it. I was slick. Was slick with it. Yeah, I got so slick that you're on YouTube talking about it. Stupid. If Jesus can't save these. Why are you trying? This is just sad. <laughs> if Jesus can't save them, why are you trying? <laughs> Four or five different guys? This is your exit. Why is this so oh true? Oh my god, I this is so accurate. This is why I say, when me and Cass pull off, because of course I always drive, I tell her, life. put that in the, the nav first before we even leave, because I don't want to hear you say, take it right here. Is that no matter how intelligent a woman is, no matter how, her accolades, her accomplishments, etc., she will always be boiled down to how does she look to a degree. However, let's say she's accomplished, but she's ugly. No one cares. Yeah. Facts. It sucks. That's why you can look like um, precious. Or just what, 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 what is it? What is it? What is it? You can be a 10 working on fries and McDonald's and get a millionaire, but you can be, you can look like a, a precious with a Harvard degree and ain't no man coming for you. <laughs> That's how it is, though. You know what I mean? That w w women aren't really valued to a degree for what they, for their accomplishments. They're valued on their beauty. So all I'm saying when I tell women things is understand the reality. Yo, as you get older, your value goes down. Why not consolidate on the best guy you can while, you ca while the, the, the chips are still up? The problem is that girls want to, you know, bet against the casino. And guess what? The house always wins. And the house is father time. What y'all want to do? Just being honest here, man. <laughs>
He basically is preaching facts, but a lot of delusional women, these women that work at Delulu Lemon, <laughs> they really think as they get older that they age like fine wine. I always say this, uh, men age like fine wine. Women age like yogurt left out in the desert or in Texas in July. Shots fired! What you do? Because I honestly, like... Yeah. My buddy John Gacy used to be a really good guy. He was going to Harvard. Honestly, he was put at the top of his class. Uh -huh. He ended up uh, falling into OF. He ended up getting, you know, a subscription to that. And, you know, he's no longer with us. They took his face. Okay. What? So, so obviously, oh my, God, I'm sorry my buddy John that. Gacy is gone now. It's triggering. But you even, you were laughing at John. I, I mean, wasn't. I wasn't. Okay, I was trying to understand you. Put the camera on her and if she's being honest, then say rest in peace. I said, I'm sorry for your loss. No, rest in peace to who? You're not being sincere about this. No, mm -mm. your friend. You weren't even listening? I was listening. What's his name? John Gacy. I'm sorry <laughs> for his loss. Like, I'm trying okay, to. Okay, thank you. Why are you I'm laughing? Sorry. John Gacy. Oh, my God. Stupid. Do you not know who he's talking about? I'm not Why laughing. laughing? My buddy, John Gacy. Is the death of his friend funny to you? There is no <laughs> shot. <laughs> oh, my Lord. In what sense is our society male dominated? Uh, the fact that the vast majority of wealth is owned by men, the vast majority of capital and is owned by men. Women do more unpaid it's a very, labor. very tiny proportion of men and a huge proportion of people who are seriously disaffected are men. Most people in prison are men. Most people who are uh, on the street are men. Most victims of violent crime are men. Most people who commit suicide are men. Uh, most men, most people who in wars are men. People who do worse in school are men. It's like... Where's the dominance here precisely? What you're doing is you're taking a tiny substrata of hyper successful men and using that to represent the entire structure of the of Western society. There's nothing about that that's vaguely appropriate. Legend has it. Facts. She I mean, left Jordan the set Peterson. and started crying that Jordan Peterson always cooked. Too early to add you to my Instagram bio. Can you share your location with me? I just want to make sure, like, in case anything happens, I know where you are. I know we've only been together for like a week, but I really love you. Just to Ooh. get things out of the way, my phone password is 541, my middle name is Fatiha, and my social security number is 715. Red flags all around. Yeah, bro. A, a love bombing. That's what they call it these days. I used to do this back in college. Getting girls completely obsessed with me and then dropping them like a bad habit. Not, not I, I don't, I don't really condone it now, <laughs> but it worked back then. Thicker than cold peanut butter. What are you scratching back there? Wow. Are you single? Are you single? Yes. Oh, you are? Can I get your number? Um, that's weird. Hi. Oh, okay. <laughs> How are you? Casey. Casey, nice to yeah, meet nice you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, I like you. your outfit and everything. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Cold approaching like a mug. You just want my number based on the way that I look physically? Yeah. Yeah, yeah duh. Alright. Alright. Well, um, I'll take that as a compliment. Casey. Okay. Thank Have you. Have a good night. You too. This just goes to show that men sh that's, that's what I'm saying. Men are physical. That's why women wear makeup and men lie. Because y'all know that we like what we see. Your biggest financial mistake. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend. Oh, okay. In what way? Bro, this is in college, bro. I hated spending money on women so much that I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> this girl had to beg me one time to spend money on her. And I think what I think I bought her like a $20 swimsuit at PacSun. And then dropped her like a bad habit like a week after. I'm like, as soon as I start spending money on these women, they just leave. <laughs> <laughs> Vacations and, you know, just dinners. Just okay. didn't work out. And this is why she's your ex go. This is why. Okay. Is and if you could go back, what would you change? That was a good experience. So yeah. lesson learned. I don't think I'd change much. Lesson learned. So yeah. now just pay for less vacations and dinners? Yeah. Stay single. Stay single. Okay, that's the advice. Well, thank you very much. I thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you. Gee. Well, as they say, you can't get divorced if you're not married. But once again, whoever can change you and make you think differently about the future is your is your master. And so I think if a girl can break your heart and then make you not want to fall in love again, she's kind of your master in a, in a certain regard. Telling you line and using the money that you make from that translates to any sort of intelligence or skill. I have a degree. A degree in what? Philosophy. I could go <laughs> to grad school and become a lawyer if I okay. wanted. That's a good point. You could have become a very well-respected lawyer, had a good career. What do you think your kids are going to think when they said, oh, my mom had two options. They could have been a philosopher and a lawyer who made a lot of money, but they decided to be an online for two years. And then when they got ugly, now nobody wants to hire them anymore because they ruined their name and their reputation. 
<laughs> you got that degree in philosophy. Um, did you not think about what you were going to do at all? For fun. Are you going to ask me what's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing's wrong, babe. Since you asked, babe, last night I looked up your most compatible zodiac sign and it, wasn't and it said Leo. Three days ago, you liked this girl Layla's picture on Instagram oh and she's God. a Leo. What is going on? Do you ever think we'll get married? Like, when do you think we'll actually get married? Here she is. A lot of women just want to be wives. They don't want to be uh, mothers. That's the thing, bro. Wife and mother gave us synonymous. They need to be in the same breath. Carte blanche on anything we wanted in Truly. the whole place. Y'all ever played Minecraft? I mean, like, do you see the way she's looking at him? Yeah. <laughs> if that was my man, if that was my man, that just simply wouldn't be my man anymore. <laughs> Looks like she's a bit too stunned. Well, weren't they in a movie together and doing some, like, fake romance stuff? ...runs into girl that called him ugly in high school. <laughs> no, I don't respect other New Yorkers because y'all come in a lot polite. Are you a nice person on the regular? Yo, we went to school together. What you talking about? Who? <laughs> we went to school together. Who? You want me Is there to... an owl in here? <laughs> Who? Who? To say to school? Let me see. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what you talking about? Let me big real quick. <gasps> we did go to school with each other. Word of my mother. <laughs> you the same height as me. Yo, shut up. <laughs> we are though. <laughs> I told, I told Trying to get on the sauce now. Nah. Oh, you. I'm five nine. Oh, so you didn't grow since high school? Guess how tall I am. How tall are you? I'm six feet. Oh wow. <laughs> In high school, you was taller than me. Mm-hmm. Be honest. In high school, you think I was you think you think I was a weirdo in high school? No, you was <laughs> you was the same. <laughs> you think I was cute in high school? Why would you ask me that? I'm asking, I need to know. Mm. Yeah, a little. You're lying! She told I mean she told me I was ugly in high school. Because I'm up now. You used to be goofing she around. Told me I was, uh, Gotta yo You just fucking lie. You told me I was ugly in high school and now you're gonna come on my live five years later and tell me you think I was good in high school. You told I'm me I was now. ugly in high school. You hurt my feelings. I'm up now. You hurt my feelings in high school. You told me I was I ugly. You, that. you told me I was ugly, I was shorter than you, and you played with me in high school. Now you got the nerve five years later to tell me that you thought I was f***ing cute? <laughs> you, you, literally call, you literally called me ugly to my... You be goofing around. Mm, years later and she regrets... That's how it is. Women wait at the finish line and pick the winners. High value woman. Oh God. What's that? High value woman, fit, feminine, friendly, cooperative, submissive, no kids, quaint, uplifting, empathetic, uh, elegant, and natural and nurturing. Concepts foreign to you? Modesty, being demure. Modesty. What does mo modesty? Modesty means not showing your clavage on a <laughs> podcast. Yeah, modesty in character, modesty in appearance, modesty in her demeanor. You just don't like it when a woman is outspoken. You're intimidated it. by that. I love you it. You just met me oh, like 10 minutes well, ago. Okay, and let's... Bro, how did she not even know what I... I love it. Well, it's it's three things. It's appearance, it's character, and it's personality. Not model your lifestyle after her. Oh, Thank you very much. <coughs> and that's from the Christian man. Yes, I'm looking out for you young ladies. If you I'm ever, not judging if you. you ever, that's fine. I'm not judging you. <laughs> But if you ever want to get married, there's a lot of young girls out there who want to get married someday. If pictures of yourself doing things are all over the internet, your husband and your kids will not appreciate that. What are your kids going to think of this? They're I think Northwest is doing just asshole. fine. No Northwest. Yeah. It's always the exception. The exception doesn't make the rule. Northwest, Kanye West kid, but they can still see their mom online getting bucked. Shots fired! 
doesn't change the fact that that's trauma for the child, you idiot. doesn't matter how much money they have. This is why the, this modern concept is so misconstrued. They think money means value in life. It doesn't. She's living her life. Kanye's, yeah. Yeah, she's doing great with her mom. Yeah, I mean, given the option between a mom who has on the internet versus one who doesn't have internet, I would prefer if all of my friends couldn't see my mom being other dudes and so I still no consider myself a Christian. <laughs> I still consider myself a Christian. I'm Honey, that conversation has left. <laughs> She's still, I still can't. <laughs> Just keep doing OF, dude. I believe that Jesus died on the cross for my sins, and I'm not a judgmental person like oh. you. I swear, girls just Jeez. don't like- Jeez. Goodness gracious, alive. Two, there's two brain cells in there fighting for third place. <laughs> goodness gracious. So bad. I'm just trying to tell you that you, you your change. purse is on top of your car. Stupid. You give me a show that we Mind your own business. <laughs> Helped her out and she was still mad, bro. You can't make this stuff up. He's literally helping her out. You follow so many girls. I follow 40 girls, 20 of which are family and friends. I can name them. I know them. Right? This is why I follow them. Oh, you follow me. Shut your f***ing mouth. You've had this conversation with me before. Don't f***ing waste my time. Don't waste my time telling me who's texting. I'm going to f***ing listen to there. Oh, you need your sock. You need your sock. Man just needs his sock. That's all I want. I want my f***ing sock. I want to stop f***ing the phone. I've also got a person I met in the club last night. Don't f***ing be in the phone. Talking about it right there. You was doing this and the other. You were f***ing there. I was. I was! I went to sleep there! <laughs> You're rubbish! I'm not dealing with it, Jamal. Hey. Hey, I, I love you, man. <laughs> I mean, bro. But that's how men show endearment. We give each other a hard time, bro. Like, I don't know about you guys, but the guys I'm closest to, we like riff on each other so hard. We riff on each other so hard, bro. Man. Honestly, older than me. So I'm 25, but no older than 35. So 25 to 35? 26. All I right. already dated a younger man. I won't do it again. Ideal race? Over six feet. Beefy. Race. Race. I'm getting there. Oh, sorry. I'm just giving you more details. Okay, okay, okay. Beefy black men. All right, and then you said six foot? Yeah. Minimum income. I mean, I would love a man with six figures. What do you mean by beefy? So, yeah. The probability of you finding your ideal man is a point zero six nine percent. I've already That's found 1%. mine. He asked for the ideal race, and yeah, she said beefy. We know what she means, I think, gents. You guys, an analogy so you can understand where men are coming from. Whether you guys want to accept it or not, the the biggest investment that a man is going to make is into his potential future wife. Something that's pretty serious, because here's the thing. It's not funny that men get divorced by women 80% of the time. It's not funny that 90% of alimony is paid from men to women. It's not funny that guys don't get to see their children. It's not funny that a woman can cheat on you, divorce you, and still take your money and your children from you. It's not funny. And it's extremely disrespectful for you guys to come on the platform, laugh about me saying, hey, men have to pay full price, which is marriage, okay? Because he has to bring so many other things to the table to get a, to get a wife, and only thing he really expects in return is some level of decency and purity. Loyalty. So it's not funny. If you guys laugh off the camera like that again, we're gonna kick you out. Well, not all. Frank Castle him. Frank Castle him. I mean, it's so true. Loki, does somebody want a carrot? Free. Sit. Wait. Free. Yeah, one of the biggest investments you're gonna ever ever make is gonna be your relationships. Why, this is why I think part of the channel has done so well is because we talk about building meaningful relationships, whether it's with men, women, partner, whatever it may be. But having a good woman in your life can really transform you. And here's what I mean by that. Ever since I've been with Kaz, I've stopped worrying about focusing on other girls. I know the girl I got. I know I can do what I need to do when I need to do it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> when it's time to get down to business, I know where I'm going. So I don't have to focus on a lot of the chasing. And then a lot of other things are taken care of. She allows me to go record more content and do more with the business. So I don't have to cook. I don't have to clean. I don't have to do anything with the house. I don't have to tidy it up. I don't have to buy Loki's food. I don't have to buy my food. I'm exempt from doing a lot of things because she does them for me, which frees up my time to go be more productive with the business, which is YouTube. 
So I don't know, man. That's just that's just my two cents on it. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook. The Four Pillars of Personality makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. It was good to have you all out. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.